unreleased details, details that might prove that Liam Payne was murdered. New details on the death of Liam Payne. We are learning more about the One Direction singer's final hours. There's still a lot of questions about how such a global superstar could have fallen to his death. Investigators now piecing together minute by minute, looking at what happened in the hours before he fell. It has been suggested that Liam Payne didn't take his own life. In fact, the investigation that is taking place as we speak could actually indicate that the cause of death wasn't from a fall. <laughs> Police now analyzing security cameras at the hotel and nearby as they try to piece together what happened. What if I told you that the final hours of a beloved celebrity's life were captured in a series of haunting photos, each one revealing a tragic tale that fans never saw coming? The world was left stunned when heartbreaking photos of Liam Payne surfaced, showing the former One Direction star in his last hours before tragedy struck. But this isn't just a story about a celebrity's downfall. It's a chilling reminder of the relentless pressures of fame and the stark reality that even the brightest stars can burn out in silence. Let's unravel the details of Liam's final moments, the shocking way his family found out, and what this tells us about our culture's thirst for celebrity news. Liam Payne, whose boyish charm and soulful voice once captivated millions, was more than a chart-topping singer. He was an icon who grew up in the relentless glare of fame. Yet, behind the polished image and upbeat interviews, there was a man struggling with battles few ever knew. And those battles reached a tragic end on a night that no one could have predicted. Police in Buenos Aires, Argentina, they have raided the luxurious Casa Sur Palermo Hotel as the region's prosecutor investigates how Liam Payne went from just greeting excited fans outside to then lying dead in the hotel courtyard. Just days before Liam's death, candid photos emerge that now take on an almost eerie significance. In one image, he's sitting alone at a dimly lit bar, eyes distant, holding a drink as if trying to find solace at the bottom of the glass. The lines of worry etched into his face spoke volumes to those who knew where to look. Another shot, caught by paparazzi, showed him leaving his hotel, his usually confident stride replaced by a slow, almost hesitant pace. At the time, these photos were just another set of images for the tabloid cycle, but now they tell a different story, a story that ends with a heartbreaking twist. Telling ABC News, those cameras twice showing Payne asleep in the lobby holding a bottle of whiskey. At one point, staff using an app to call two women to the hotel, Payne offering them 5,000 US dollars but did not pay them, clearly already intoxicated. It's also been suggested that Liam Payne is missing a Rolex watch. He was wearing his Rolex whilst getting into the lift when he was holding that laptop. However, since the discovery of the body, that Rolex has not been found. Where has that Rolex gone? For his sister Nicola, the news came not from a comforting call, but through the glaring screen of her phone. Imagine scrolling through your notifications and seeing that the brother you laughed with, worried about, and loved fiercely, was gone. Just like that. For Nicola, the headline that flashed across her screen was cold and cruel. Liam Payne, 31, dead after a tragic fall from a hotel balcony in Buenos Aires. Her shock was palpable. I went cold. She later recounted in a tearful Instagram post. Those four words, simple but powerful, capture the kind of pain that doesn't just ache, it sears. Nicola desperately wished the news was a mistake, a bad dream she could wake up from. But the harsh truth was impossible to escape. As news of Liam's death spread, so did the haunting images taken in his last hours. One picture, now infamous, shows him glancing out of the hotel's panoramic window, the city lights of Buenos Aires sprawling beneath him. It's a shot that could have been just another page in a travel magazine. But now, it feels like a prelude, a silent cry for help masked by the city's glittering chaos. Police in Buenos Aires have reviewed CCTV footage, which appears to show multiple drug exchanges between a dealer and a hotel employee taking place prior to Payne's death. And then there was the infamous reporting that followed. TMZ, known for breaking celebrity news with unapologetic speed, 
was the first to publish these last photos alongside the devastating headline. Their coverage sparked outrage when it was revealed they had published distressing images of Liam's lifeless body, claiming it was necessary for verification. It was a move that, to many, crossed an unforgivable line. Michael Babcock, an executive at TMZ, defended the decision, arguing that they needed to confirm details before police officially identified Liam. The photos were taken down after a backlash, but not before Nicola and the rest of Liam's family saw the undignified portrayal splashed across screens worldwide. It was deja vu of the worst kind, a pattern echoing the sensational reporting around Kobe Bryant's death, when his family hadn't even been notified before TMZ broke the news. And the fallout didn't stop there. Social media exploded with opinions, debates, and finger-pointing. Fans mourned, yes, but they also questioned the ethics of a media landscape that prioritizes speed over sensitivity. Why did we have to see that? One fan commented, reflecting a shared frustration. It's not just about the media. It's about us, the consumers who fuel this relentless machine, clicking, sharing, and feeding the cycle of sensationalism. Behind the scenes, Liam's family was navigating a storm of grief compounded by the unforgiving nature of fame. His other sister, Ruth Gibbons, shared an emotional tribute that painted a picture of a brother whose struggles were always just beneath the surface. I wish I could have saved him, she wrote. A heartbreaking admission that echoes in the hearts of so many who've lost loved ones to silent battles. The photos of Liam's last moments reveal more than just a tragic timeline. They're a mirror to the suffocating weight of celebrity life. It's well known that Liam struggled with alcohol, openly speaking about how it became both a coping mechanism and a crutch during One Direction's meteoric rise. We were locked in hotel rooms, trapped by fame, he once said. All we had were minibars to keep us company. His words, once overlooked as just another soundbite, now feel like a poignant warning missed by so many. And there were signs before this tragic end. Messages to his ex-fiance, Maya Henry, hinted at a deep-seated struggle. Cryptic notes predicting his own demise. Postponed tours due to severe health issues were met with the usual public reactions, ranging from sympathy to skepticism. But now, in hindsight, each of these moments feels like pieces of a puzzle that, when put together, paint a picture of a man under immense pressure, fighting battles that fame could neither hide nor heal. Liam Payne's tragic story forces us to ask, at what point does the pursuit of celebrity culture cross a line? How many families need to learn about their loved one's deaths from a notification before something changes? The race to report first, to get the exclusive, comes at a cost that no click, share, or view can justify. Let this be a moment to pause. The next time we see a headline, a photo, a breaking news story about a celebrity, maybe we'll think twice about what's behind it. The real people living those stories. Because while the world saw Liam as a pop star, an icon, his family saw him as a son, a brother, a loved one lost too soon. Liam's story is more than a cautionary tale. It's a wake-up call for all of us. A call to remember that fame, no matter how bright, should never dim the value of human decency and empathy.